There has been a lot of speculation about a second wave of the coronavirus, especially by this fall when the flu season arrives. But is that true and will it be as bad as the first one? Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares what we know and what we don't. Liz? Hey there, hello to you. One of the things we've continued to do in this pandemic is to try and separate the myths from the facts when it comes to the coronavirus. A recent report from doctors in Italy said the virus appears to be weakening, which leads some to speculate that even if we have a second wave, it might not be as destructive or deadly as the one we've been experiencing in recent weeks. So I did ask infectious disease specialists to weigh in on this and explain it if possible and just how that could happen with a virus. Well, the virus does mutate slowly, not as quickly as viruses like uh, uh, influenza, Uh, but the virus does have some genetic changes over time, and and that's one of the ways it can be tracked through a population. We can backtrack some of its genetic mutations and know when it entered a population of, of people, say, here in the United States. There are genetic changes, genetic mutations in the virus that are going on all the time, And as it adapts to human hosts, many viruses will become less aggressive, less virulent, um, so that it can continue to spread within the population. It doesn't want to kill off all its hosts. It wants to continue to spread. Now, Dr. Blatt says it's simply too soon to know the impact of a future outbreak for this virus or really any other. For now, he's simply suggesting we all continue to do everything possible to limit its spread. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonas. We'll throw it back to you.